Hey guys, Thomas Cecilia Jr. here, aka Mustache Child. I'm here to review the movie Be Afraid. So we see that this father is arguing with his wife about going out in the rain uh, to potentially stop these uh, figures from getting in his house. So he goes out there only to find out that his daughter has been captured by them and they go off and as soon as that happens it skips four years later with there's with this new father is looking over his son nathan and this father is a doctor he also has a wife and an older son that we meet a little bit later in the movie so the kid stops uh on this little tricycle path that he's got going on and he stops seeing uh he stops hearing something, I believe, the first time around, and he's looking toward the forest. And we get a little, like, fun moment where, like, the doctor guy is trying to explain to his son what, uh, where babies come from using DNA and stuff like that. And the movie begins pretty slowly. Uh, these figures, uh, the son is seeing them, and I don't know... Because the father caught a glimpse of one of them. So I don't know if he was like pretending not to see it. Or maybe he just thought it was like a trick or whatever. But anyways. We've, as I said, we see his older son, Ben. Who's a college dropout. And um, the mother constantly insists on checking in on the son. And as we are seeing this, we actually see that, um, the first father, um, I believe his name is Dean, uh, he's alive and he's gone a little bit crazy from not seeing his daughter for a long period of time. So, uh, he's out there and the police arrest him again for reasons. And we learn later in the story that's not the first time that that's happened. So, um, Heather, who's the wife of, uh, uh, the doctor, she's out and about and just trying to, trying to look over her son. You know, every time she, he's like going closer to the forest, she's like, oh, gotta go get him. So the father sees this other woman and it's the wife, the first wife, um, and while that's going on, their daughter is like this, I, I guess also a shadow figure who's luring out the son into the forest later on in the movie. Uh, ben ends up talking to this cashier um, lady and she ends up being the daughter of the, a police officer, one of the ones that becomes important later on. Her name is Nikki, and they start to get along pretty well. Um, and these figures, we see them uh, through most of the characters. Uh, we see the mom eventually run into them. Uh, and we see that, as I mentioned, the girl is a shadow, so the son had seen them. And at one point, the father has seen them, and Ben has seen them. At one point or another. So. Uh, at one point Dean kills himself. Because he's. Just done with all this nonsense. Uh, and we get to see. Uh, Nikki's uh, mother as well. Who's a tow trucker. And she's gone a bit crazy too. Because she was a friend of Ben. And everyone else is like. Yo you gotta get away from her. You know the mom's like. Good get away from her at first. Um, so, uh, while that's going on, the older and son and, uh, Nikki are bonding over, like, all these experiences, and we're seeing that the father is going through what they assume is sleep paralysis, and that's the excuse of seeing these figures mainly at night at a specific time. Uh, and we see, like, all this stuff, like, where now Nathan is starting to get zombified and getting closer into that little cave where they are. Um, 
the mother's in stomach pains, which she, I guess she was going to have another baby, but that didn't turn out the way, that way. Um, so at that point, the son asked about death, and that was a little bit of a somber scene. Oh, and then the shadow, uh, man, we see that the son keeps saying that, uh, he wanted him to go in the woods. Uh, and we see that the, the original wife wants, uh, Dean, t Dean journal to be kept, uh, in the father, the doctor's, uh, possession, which has, uh, like, all these, uh, drawings about the shadow man. Uh, so later on, Ben picks up the cashier, they go to a party, the party ends up for them to end up going in this little tunnel, two of the bullies die, and then he gets out, and he's like, oh man, they were attacked, and then, um, the cops are like, oh no, uh, you know, that we didn't see anything, or we didn't find anything, so you're sus suspicious, so you're coming with us, so he gets in, uh, he gets dragged away into a police station and while that's going on the clerk girl sees that more kids have been abducted and then she figures out that she had too had been abducted and the only reason why she came back was because of this like whole I guess sacrificial like whoever goes in the cave they allow someone to come out I guess that's how it works um so a son and, uh, the lady escaped from, uh, oh, uh, the clerk, that's right, Nikki, and, uh, they escaped from the, this monster figure where they see in the police station and they see the tow truck lady, uh, Nikki's mom. Uh, Nikki refers to this, uh, scary threat as the hat man. At least one of them. There appears to be several of them. Anyways, the cop had been knew about this situation. He was the one that lured out these two kids to get his daughter back, uh, apparently. So, uh, that's what he did. And then the doctor is like, "Oh, they have uh, Nathan because they dragged her, dragged him, <coughs> they dragged him away." When, uh, the mother had seen one while well, she was in the tub and the she just, like, sits there and just, she just sort of lets it happen. It's so, it's so, like a weird, odd scene. It's really odd. But she freaks out afterwards when she's, like, pretty much, pretty much died and then he, she got it brought back to life because he knew how to do that. You know, the whole resuscitation thing. Um, so anyways, Nathan's off in the cave, uh, presumably he was gonna end up staying there, but the father, uh, ends up going in the cave, and they end up pulling him in, and as soon as he is pulled in, Nathan is able to get out of the cave. So, the family, except the the doctor is now reunited. They go home uh, to mourn their loss of uh, the father. And then you, we see a cutaway. The, we see uh, him actually wake up. He tries to go home. Uh, he tries to talk to his family, but they can't see him or hear him. And then we see him start to walk away after like mourning this like loss. And then... From the mother's perspective, we see a shadow person. So, uh, this movie, uh, was pretty long, first of all. Uh, and the pacing got a little bit wonky from time to time. And I felt like the father did an okay job. Uh, you know, I felt like toward the second half of the movie, he started to, like, yeah, you started to, like, cheer him on. You're like, yeah, let's, you know... He's he's been a good father uh so far. You know, he's given advice to his son, his older son. He's like, you know, the straight man, just do what you gotta do to get by, you know, just make sure you're doing the right stuff and you know, he's kinda like that kind of father. 
And you, you see him try to get his younger son back. And he's like, yeah, okay, I, you know, he does a pretty good job. And um, I actually kind of like the whole, like, the shadows are presumably other people that have been lost. And there's this whole trade-off system. Now, sure, they don't look that frightening and, um, you know, typical... Uh, horror genre, you gotta have your typical jump scares, and there surely are a few uh, in this movie as well. Uh, and I think that's a shame, because I think that this movie has... There's, like, a certain appeal to the whole aspect of... The whole trade-off aspect of this movie, and I felt like they could have played with that a lot more. I felt like... If they had dropped the horror element and just like had this whole somber, this have this be like a somber movie about like, you know, the when the daughter gets like whisked away by these shadows, it's like this really somber movie, and then the son eventually gets caught in all of this, and then I don't know, like I felt like the acting could have been a bit better from that perspective as well. But I feel like, you know, you have these silly, more up, kind of weird scenes. Like, like the mother in the tub scene kind of s- seemed weird. Um, again, pretty slow start. Uh, but I feel, again, it picks up halfway around the movie. And I feel like the whole town thing got a little bit... It felt a little bit unnecessary, even though it kind of, like... In a way, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that part, but I think if they delved in, delved into that in a different sort of way, maybe that could have been a little bit better too. I don't know. But as this movie is, I think I would give it a six out of ten. It's passable. It has quite a few flaws here and there, but I think it was decent enough. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, I didn't think that uh, that was going to be the case, and, you know, it's not bad, but it's not great, or it's okay. Uh, so that's what I think of the movie anyways. Uh, that is my review, so if you enjoyed that, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and until next time, bye!